They said it was unbuildable. A 14-year manufacturing war. Let's start at the mud. Entry 218. No math, just a sketch. This is where the engineering nightmare begins. Step 1. Clearing 600 million year old sandstone. The site has to be stripped to the bedrock. We need 500 piers driven into the rock. If these foundations slip, the building dies. Manual labor meets marine engineering. Every pillar is hand inspected at the bottom of the harbor. Manufacturing for the sea. The concrete must displace the water perfectly or the steel will rust. The podium. 75,000 cubic yards of concrete. This is the largest mold ever built in Australia. The skeleton. Miles of steel to take a weight the engineers haven't even calculated yet. A continuous manufacturing line. If the pore stops, a cold joint forms and the base cracks. Density is everything. Air bubbles are the enemy of structural integrity. The base is rising, but the architect still hasn't solved the roof. The project is out of sync. The roof design just doubled in weight. The base we just built isn't strong enough. The nightmare scenario. The foundation is starting to crush under its own ambition. Stage one was built for a lightweight roof. Stage two is a concrete monster. Something has to change. To save the building, we have to destroy it. We're ripping out the weak columns to build titans. Next-gen problems require explosive solutions. We're making room for massive reinforcements. Fire in the hole! Demolishing 40,000 man-hours of work to fix a mathematical error. The Titan Pillars. These are the new legs that will eventually hold the 2,400 concrete ribs. Protection. 700 tons of granite to shield the concrete from the harbor's salt spray. This isn't just a wall, it's armor. Every piece is hand aligned to within a millimeter. Manufacturing the skin, the precision of a jeweler on the scale of a fortress. The stairs aren't just an entrance, they are a massive structural brace for the podium. Internal tension, we're squeezing the base together to make it rigid enough for the shells. Managing the storms, every gallon of Sydney rain has a manufactured path to the sea. The mud is gone. The 1.8 hectare stage is finally set for the main act. The final exam. If the podium holds this water, it can hold the sails. Static. The settlement has stopped. The base is officially next-gen ready. Stage one is complete. We have our foundation. Now, let's manufacture the impossible. Stage two is at a standstill. The curves on paper can't hold their own weight in concrete. Manual math has hit the wall. To solve these curves by hand would take 100 years. The team turns to a 1960s superpower, one of the world's first digital mainframe computers. 2,000 hours of computer time. We are manufacturing a new kind of geometry, digital. The parabolas failed. We need a shape that is constant, a shape that can be mass produced. The breakthrough. If every sail is a slice of the same sphere, the math becomes universal. One sphere, 75 meters wide, this is the master mold for the entire building. This is the shift from art to manufacturing. Standard parts mean an assembly line. Each rib is a slice of that sphere. It starts thick at the base and thins at the peak. We aren't building a house anymore. We just built a factory to manufacture the house. The master mold. It's made of steel and adjustable to create different rib lengths. Precision manufacturing. The error margin is less than 1 16th of an inch. Every rib needs a skeleton. High tensile steel cages, custom welded for the spherical curve. This isn't standard gray cement. We are manufacturing liquid stone that sparkles. The first of 2,400 ribs. The manufacturing line is officially live. Next-gen speed in 1963, steam curing turns weeks of drying into 24 hours. A perfect geometric part, this is the DNA of the sails. Logistics, the factory is only 200 yards from the site, a perfect supply chain. The world's strongest crane. This is the hinge. The entire weight of the sail rests on this one steel pivot. 15 tons of white concrete. The first piece of the puzzle is about to land. 
Contact. The spherical math is working. The rib fits perfectly. The building needs a temporary skeleton until the manufacturing is complete. The tendons. These are the muscles of the building. Next gen strength. We are squeezing the ribs together until they become one solid arch. Glue and steel. The epoxy joint is now stronger than the concrete itself. The fan. This is the internal geometry that Utsan dreamed of. The sun is expanding the concrete. We have to manufacture gaps for the building to breathe. Closing the arch. The first sail is now a self-supporting structure. Gravity takes over. The math is proven. It's standing. Secondary manufacturing. Every gap in the sphere must be sealed. Testing the manufacturing. These sails must survive 100 miles per hour harbor gales. The manufacturing line is at full capacity, one rib every four hours. Going vertical, we are now manufacturing the tallest concrete sails in history. Locking the muscles, once the grout cures, the tension is permanent. The flex point, the building can move three inches without cracking. No harnesses, just grit. They are building the future with the safety tech of the past. The bones are done. The spherical solution worked. Now, we need a skin. Utsan realized he couldn't build the roof. He had to manufacture it in pieces. The ribs spine. Every segment needs a steel cage to handle the immense tension. 2,400 ribs. Each one a unique size, but all sharing the same geometric DNA. Precision begins with the surface. If it sticks, the rib shatters. Not just concrete. This is a custom liquid stone mix designed to sparkle in the sun. The manufacturing cycle begins. One rib every 24 hours, six days a week. Removing the invisible enemy, air pockets. Density is the only thing keeping this standing. Next gen speed in the 60s. Steam curing turns a 28 day dry time into a single night. Fresh off the line, it looks like a giant's tooth. 15 tons of mathematical perfection. Manufacturing to logistics. This rib is now ready for its place in the sky. The world's largest 3D puzzle. If the sequence is wrong, the geometry fails. Every piece moves on a rail, a literal assembly line to the harbor edge. The crane that built Sydney, manufactured in France specifically to lift these 15-ton ribs. This is the route. The entire sail pivots on this single steel hinge. The first connection, no room for error. It has to sit perfectly in the socket. Temporary bones. The building cannot hold itself up until the math is complete. Glue and stone. This epoxy is designed to be stronger than the concrete itself. The muscles. High tensile steel cables that will squeeze these segments together. This is where we defy gravity. We're gonna pull these ribs together with 200 tons of force. Post-tensioning. We are turning individual blocks of concrete into a single rigid arch. The arch is closed. For the first time, the sail is self-supporting. The moment of truth. Gravity takes the weight. The math holds. Pure spherical geometry, every rib radiating from the same center point. Secondary manufacturing, sealing the gaps in the V-shaped skeleton. Locking the tension. Once this grout dries, the building's muscles are permanent. Manual verification. In 1965, the computer was the man behind the lens. The bones are complete. 2,400 ribs are locked. Now, we need to manufacture the skin. Manufacturing for the storm. These shells must handle 100 mile per hour gales. The largest scaffolding project in history. A city of steel just to reach the peaks. Proven manufacturing. The joint is now the strongest part of the building. 24-7 manufacturing. The budget is exploding and the government is panicking. 1960s safety. Grit and balance were the only systems they had. The manufacturing war. Even the machines are reaching their breaking point. Systematic assembly. Every part has a home. Every bolt has a torque spec. The tension is perfect. The spherical solution solved the physics. Now, we need the aesthetic. A concrete cathedral. But without its tiles, it's just an unfinished skeleton. 
Stage 2 is done. One million tiles are arriving from Sweden. The skin is next. The skin of an icon. One million custom ceramic tiles, manufactured in Sweden and shipped halfway across the world. Two types of tiles, glossy to catch the sun and matte to soften the glare. Manufactured to be self-cleaning. Hand placing one million tiles would take 50 years. We need a manufacturing miracle. We're turning a roof into a product. This is mass production on a curved scale. The lid factory, a dedicated assembly line to turn one million pieces into 4,000 manageable panels. The chevron, a mathematical pattern designed to hide the joints between panels. Bonding the skin. Once this cement sets, the tiles and the panel become one single unit. From 1,000 individual tiles to one next-gen panel in minutes. Mechanical connection. No glue will hold this to the building. It has to be bolted. The first panel goes up. The transformation from raw concrete to shimmering icon begins. Precision manufacturing. If this lid is off by two millimeters, the whole pattern fails. Fixed for 200 years, the lid is now part of the building's skeleton. The building is alive. These gaps allow the tiles to expand in the Australian heat. The V pattern creates a play of light that changes every hour. It's a solar machine. Waterproofing. One leak and the salt air will rot the steel tendons inside. Quality control. Every tile is checked for a hollow sound. Zero tolerance for manufacturing defects. Every lid is the weight of a small car. The podium we reinforced in phase one is finally being tested. Closing the spine. The shell is now fully armored against the Pacific storms. Manufacturing longevity. Materials that won't rust, even in a salt mist environment. At night, it's a different building. A monument to the moon, manufactured on Earth. The rain is the only janitor this building needs. The glaze is designed to shed dirt. Manufacturing for the future. We made 50,000 extras because we knew we'd never find this clay again. Even without computers in 1967, they achieved a tolerance of 0.05%. The bravery of the lid fitters. 200 feet up with nothing but the wind. The building moves three inches daily. If it doesn't bend, it shatters. Hidden manufacturing. The plumbing for the roof is built into the skin. The concrete is the resonator. The tiles are the protector. Together, they are an instrument. Testing the glaze. It's been 60 years and these tiles haven't changed color. The skin is complete. The unbuildable shape is finally visible to the world. The exterior is finished. One million tiles, 4,000 lids. Now, let's see the disaster inside. The sails are done, but they are hollow. Now we have to hang 2,000 tons of glass. Manufacturing the view. Double glazed, bronze tinted glass from France. The mullions. These are the steel trees that will support the glass against the wind. Fragile manufacturing, one mistake, and 500 hours of French craftsmanship shatters. No rust allowed. Bronze is the only metal that can survive this harbor. Framing the world, the glass walls are the final piece of the shell's geometry. The interior is a disaster. The concrete shells are bouncing sound in the wrong directions. Manufacturing the sound, we need miles of plywood to catch the music. The clouds, these reflect the sound back to the musicians. Manufacturing for the ear. The exterior is a masterpiece, but inside, a civil war is about to start. The heavy machinery, manufacturing a stage that can lift a 100-piece orchestra. Sight lines, manufacturing the perfect view for 2,000 people at once. The colors of the 70s. 2,000 custom chairs, manufactured for comfort and sound absorption. Miles of cable, thousands of lights. This is the nervous system of the icon. Manufacturing a voice, 10,154 pipes. It will take 10 years just to build this instrument. The politics won. The architect resigns. 
he leaves his masterpiece to be finished by others. The new team has to manufacture an interior inside a shell they didn't design. The great pivot, they are changing the manufacturing logic midstream. It's a gamble. Manufacturing safety. This building can rain on itself in seconds. The final layer, the transition from a factory to a palace. Powering the icon, the electricity required here could run a small city. The world's largest mechanical tracker action organ, a masterpiece of precision manufacturing, a masterpiece with a broken heart. The creators are gone, the builders remain. The math was right. The manufactured wood and the concrete shell are finally in harmony. Removing 14 years of construction dust, the white sails finally shine. 1,400% over budget, but how do you put a price on the soul of a nation? October 1973. The world is coming to see the unbuildable dream. The manufacturing war is over. The icon is open. It took 16 years. It cost a career. But she's finally singing. Now, let's see how she holds up in the future. The final assembly of the world's largest mechanical organ, a voice manufactured from tin, wood, and air. Zero noise floor. The manufacturing of silence is just as important as the manufacturing of sound. 16 years, 10,000 workers, the unbuildable is finished. 2026, every rib and tile has a digital twin. We monitor the building's health in real time. Next-gen maintenance, we no longer tap tiles with hammers. Robots listen to the ceramics heartbeat. The battle against the sea never ends. Underwater drones protect the foundation from salt rot. We gave the building a nervous system. It tells us when the wind is pushing too hard. We're merging the past with the future. Carbon fiber muscles supporting 60-year-old concrete. Next-gen sustainability, using the Pacific Ocean to cool the world's most famous theater. Manufacturing the new look, laser ablation restores the stone without chemicals or water. Even the organ is high-tech now. Every pipe is digitally mapped for acoustic perfection. Height is no longer a hazard. Drones see what human eyes would miss at 200 feet. The harbor is beautiful, but it's an enemy. The sensors say the glass is holding perfectly. The factory never sleeps. In 2026, the cleaning line is fully autonomous. Looking through time, we check for concrete cancer before it even starts. Light is the new manufacturing material. We can change the building's soul with one click. The betrayal is over. The creator has been welcomed home. If you enjoyed this journey, make sure to subscribe to Next Gen Manufacturing. What impossible feat should we expose next?